Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I have another very exciting unboxing video to share with you guys and that is because I have six extremely affordable bags that I got on Timu inside this bag to open today. And yeah, I'm super excited for this haul because some of these bags were extremely low priced and I really want to see if they are any good. But first, I just wanted to mention that this video is not sponsored and I have bought all of these bags myself. And I just wanted to share my honest review with you guys and let you know what I think of these bags that I got on Timu. So yes, some of these bags in this haul were extremely low priced and we will see today if they are any good. But these are really the kind of bags that I prefer to use in my day-to-day -day life because I live in a city and I don't want to be any kind of target for pickpocketing or bag snatching or anything like that because I have in fact seen it happen right in front of my eyes several times and it has happened to me once before as well. So I'm not one to be carrying around a designer bag or expensive watch or anything like that. I don't want to draw that type of attention to myself. So these are the type of bags that I like to use in my everyday life. So let's see what these bags are like and continue watching until the end because I'll be saving the one that I'm most looking forward to last. So keep watching to see perhaps the best find of the day. And if you like this type of unboxing videos and fun shopping videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave me a like in this video as it really helps me out a lot. So without any further ado, let's see what's inside the bag today. So first out of the bag, I have this one. And this bag is in fact the cheapest of all of them in today's haul because this one I got on a lightning deal for just $2.49. So imagine a whole handbag for just $2.50. I've certainly never seen a bag priced that low before, not even in the thrift store, so I'm excited to see what it is like. And it is this. So this first bag is this black hobo bag made of this really glossy lovely soft faux leather and it comes with this patterned strap and if you've been shopping on Timu you've probably seen these bags on Timu because they are all over the app and they come in several different colors so I decided to get this basic black one but you can also get this in several different brown shades a red, a green, a blue, a yellow, a pink. There is so many colors in these bags and they often go on lightning deals, but this was definitely the lowest price that I've ever seen this bag sell for. So just 249, that's incredibly low. But I have actually bought this bag already one time before in a dark brown color and I really liked the quality of the bag. So when I saw this on a lightning deal, I really wanted to snatch the black one as well. So this one, the material on the outside feels very nice. As you can see, it is glossy and the strap of it is also this type of almost like seat belt material with some gloss to it. And it is adjustable with this buckle. And the back has a zip closure, which is very important for me. Then looking inside the back, it is lined nicely actually. But one thing I do notice is that this one does not have any pockets inside. So the brown one that I actually have, that I got earlier on Timu, has a little slip pocket and also a zipper pocket inside the bag. But this one does not have that. That's actually a little bit of a bummer because I do like to have little compartments inside the bag to organize my stuff. But oh well, the price was also very low. So this one is the first bag. I will take out the brown one that I bought earlier to compare them side by side, as I do have this in two colors. So yes, here is the brown one that I bought earlier. This is the dark brown color and I really like it. I think it looks kind of vintage-y. And here is the black one that I got this time. So these are 
looking like the same bag and they looked like the same bag online but they are in fact a little bit different they are the same in size but the straps are in fact different so if you look at the straps side by side they look like the same strap but the one on the black one is a little bit thinner in material than the one on the brown one this one feels thicker the one on the black is also a little bit brighter in color i think and one other difference i notice in these bags is that the brown one has a really nice and sturdy hardware but the black one the hardware is considerably thinner and also different in color so what i really liked about this brown one was this antique gold color in the hardware but this one does not have it it has more of this rose gold almost type of gold color in the hardware so these bags are a little bit different which actually really surprised me because i was expecting it to be the same product when it looked like the same product online but this is also something that you should keep in mind when shopping on timu that sometimes different sellers are selling what looks like the same product but they are in fact not exactly the same and might be made of using different materials so yeah i'll show you the inside the brown one that I got earlier, it does have these compartments on the inside. So here is a small zipper pocket and there is also a slip pocket. I really like the fact that this bag has these little compartments and the materials of it also feel sturdier than the other one. So definitely if you're shopping for these hobo bags on Timu, make sure that you see on the listing that it has these inner pockets if that's something that you're looking for. Because I also feel like this version is much better made than the other one. So yeah, this black one indeed doesn't have any pockets inside. And the strap and the hardware is a little bit lighter in quality, but otherwise it's the same looking bag. And yeah, for that price, I cannot be mad at it. It is definitely the lowest price bag that I have ever seen and it will do its job. I think I would like to change the strap on this one because the actual D-ring here looks very sturdy and nice, but then the clip and the strap itself are the ones that are a bit more flimsy. So I think I'll just change this strap and then I have a nice black hobo bag to use. I also have some items here by my side that I often pack in my bag to show what these bags can carry. So let's see what fits in this black bag. I have here a regular half a liter water bottle. And this bag can in fact carry this bottle. It does not quite fit standing up. It points out a little bit, but you can put it inside diagonally and it fits. Something very important where I live is a small umbrella and this bag can also carry the umbrella. Then something that I of course always carry is my phone and this phone case is now representing my phone because I'm filming on my phone. But yeah, I have a large size phone. The phone that I have is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is a very big phone. This one can of course fit in here too. And then some other items that I normally carry every day is a small makeup bag for just some lip balm and lipstick, little mirror, some small essentials, a little card holder wallet like this, a little pouch that is my key holder, and just a pack of tissues. So all of these items can fit in here. So this bag can definitely carry all my daily essentials. Everything fits here very well and you can still fit more inside. You could also carry a book in here. You can, you can definitely fit a lot in this hobo bag. All right, let's take out the next bag. And the next one I have over here is a sports bag. And this one was very affordable too because this crossbody sling sports bag was only 388. So yes, another super affordable product. And yeah, this is one of these one, one strap backpack sling bag type of bags. So it's a sporty design made of this soft nylon type of material. And I chose this 
butterfly print with butterflies and flowers. But yeah, one thing I do notice is unfortunately mine, the butterfly in the front has been cut off with the zip and then the rest of it is just mostly the flowers. There isn't many butterflies on mine. There is one on the side here. The one um, on Timo looked a little bit better because the butterfly was in the middle, but oh well, that's just what can happen. But this bag seemed really functional to me and I really wanted to get it because I like walking in the nature a lot. So I thought this would fit all my essentials that I'd like to have on my walk, including a water bottle and so forth. So yeah, this bag has this one strap that is also adjustable. There is a top plastic buckle on top to open this flap. And behind that, there is the main compartment. It's quite spacious and a little bit padded also, both in the front and the back. There is some padding in here. And it also has this front compartment. This one's not padded from the front. And two mesh pockets on the sides that are quite small. I'm not sure if a water bottle will fit inside these mesh pockets, but they are on both sides. So yeah, this looked like a really good design to me. It seemed really functional and for that low price, I definitely wanted to jump on it. So yeah, let's see what fits inside. Of course, on a walk, water is very important. So I will try to fit my big water bottle inside. Okay, so if I put the bottle inside, it looks like it doesn't quite fit, but there is in fact more space up here under the zip. So I can fit my bottle at the back. And the back still closes. So this one does fit a water bottle inside, which is great. Let's see if the water bottle can go in the side pocket at all. I don't think so. No, the side pocket is too small for the water bottle. Let's try the small umbrella. Okay, yeah, the umbrella fits in the side pocket, so that's nice. You could put the umbrella on one side and something else on the other side. Then of course I like to take my phone. Let's see if I can fit it in the front pocket. The large phone doesn't quite fit in the front pocket. It is both too tall and too wide. But I think if you had the regular size phone, I think it would fit in here. Just mine is really big. So I have to put mine in the main compartment because there it fits very well. I'll put my tissue packet in the front pocket. My wallet also in the front. And my keys and a little essentials bag in the main compartment. So yeah, this bag can carry all my essentials too. It is actually really spacious and fits more than I expected. So that's great. And I also like the fact that the strap is adjustable. So yeah, for 388, I'm definitely happy with that. I do wish the print was a little bit better in the front, but oh well, it is what it is. All right, let's see what else I found. Next out of the bag, I have this one. So next, I have this monogram tote bag or bucket bag. This one was described as a bucket bag on the team app, but I would maybe more consider it a tote bag because of the shape but the bottom of it has a more rounded off shape so i guess it's kind of a tote bag or a bucket bag together but it is this monogram design with long shoulder straps that are in fact adjustable so that's a really nice detail for an affordable bag that you can actually change the length of these straps and yeah i chose this black and dark brown monochrome color, but you could also select this in a lighter brown with a bigger monochrome design or this one in a 
lighter color but yeah i just liked this dark one and i really like the way it has this black contrasting bottom and straps together with this monochrome design so yeah this is kind of a reminds me of many of those designer brands uh, monochrome designs but to me that's not important or whatever i just thought it had a nice vintage look to it so i wanted to get it but this is how the monochrome looks it doesn't say anything it's just a design like this which i like i like it that it's not trying to make up of a designer name or anything like that and this tote slash bucket monochrome bag was 845 so yes we go up in price a little but still very affordable and looking inside the bag this one does not have any zipper closure only a button to close the top but inside we have some compartments which makes me very happy so there is a little zippered pocket up in here as well as two slip pockets on the other side so nice to have some organization and this one looks very spacious as well will definitely fit all the daily essentials inside overall i think this bag looks pretty good but i do think the straps feel a little bit thin and flimsy maybe the material is not super thick and it yeah it feels a little bit flimsy so i think this bag if it was to break maybe the straps will be the first ones to go but overall i think the look of it is really nice and yeah reminds me of a vintage bag actually really retro bag so i think this is actually pretty cool and yeah it will definitely fit all of my items i'm not going to even try but as you can see the water bottle fits inside all of the items will fit inside very easily so yeah, I'm quite happy about this bag. I think it feels slightly cheap in the quality, but it was cheap. So can I be mad at it? Not really. All right, next out of the bag is my smallest bag. And this one I am also really excited about because it is another nylon bag that is more sportive in look and feel. And this bag I actually really wanted to get for my everyday walks. So yeah, I try to go on a, at least one hour walk every day, but I often walk more than that. And when I go on my walks, I just really want to have my essentials. So phone, keys, maybe tissues, lip balm, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I will take water when it's hot, but when it's not even hot outside, I don't really need to take my water, so I just take a small bag like this that doesn't get in the way. I really like to have something crossbody and something easy to carry and small so that it's not bothering me while I walk. And in the summertime I usually stick to a waist bag, but then in the winter time when I wear more thicker and longer coats, a waist bag gets in the way. So I really wanted to have a small simple crossbody for my walks and I think this one will be the perfect one so it is this small nylon bag and the nylon of this one feels really good actually thicker and better than the butterfly bag it seems really well made and as you can see it has a lot of different compartments and it also comes with a strap i think it's inside yes the strap that it comes with is just this basic black strap that is woven and adjustable and this little sportive crossbody bag was 645 so yeah almost double in price compared to the butterfly bag but still affordable and i think looking at this bag you can see the price difference definitely reflected in the quality of the bag because this one feels sturdier than the other one the only thing that does not feel super sturdy about this bag is the strap so the strap itself is very sturdy and adjustable but again these clips like in the other black bag seem a tiny bit cheap maybe so i might change the strap for it it might not be necessary because i don't carry anything really heavy in here but i might because it's connected with these clips on both sides so you can definitely change it very easily but this is the crossbody bag. 
It also has this handle at the back, which I really like, and a place for your headphones to come out from, which pro tip for any dog walkers among you, because this headphone outlet actually makes the perfect place for your dog poop bags. So yeah, when I used to still walk my Luna every day, I always had my poop bags here at the back of a bag that has this kind of um, headphone outlet. So for example, here in the main compartment, you have a zip pocket under this headphone place. So I would put the poop bag roll into the little pocket and then have the tip of it point through from this hole. And then it is against your body, so you don't even see it, but the beginning of the bag is in here. So whenever you need to use one, you can just easily pull it out and don't need to rummage through your bag. Then it's really easy to pick up after your dog. So yeah, I love these bags for that function as well. But anyway, so the main compartment has this zippered pocket at the back. There is another compartment in front of the other one. So one, two bigger zippered compartments. And this one doesn't have any inner pockets. And then there is a third compartment in the front under this flap. And the flap has this little ring where you could maybe hang something like a keychain or hand sanitizer or something useful also. But under the flap, there is the third compartment. And it is like this. So yeah, this bag has three compartments and it seems super, super handy to me. It's just the perfect size for my walks and for everyday life and I really like the fact it has this handle as well at the back so you can hang it or carry it on your hand if you wish so yeah overall really nice bag and in the front it says modify or something like that and this really reminds me this whole rubber stamp and this nylon bag and the design otherwise reminds me of the Kipling bag so they've probably been inspired by those bags and this one in quality seems really great so I'm really happy with it and I'm definitely glad I got this. The zip pulls are also really nice and seem high quality. They have these nice pulls and they feel sturdy. So let's see. I'll put in my tissue packet, my small wallet, my key pouch, my phone, and I can even put in the little cosmetics bag, which normally I would not take on my walks, but all of these items can fit here very well. So I put the keys in the front, the cosmetics bag and the tissues in the first compartment, and then my wallet and phone at the back. And everything fits inside perfectly and I still have more space inside as well. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with this bag and I think I will use it a lot. Let's look at the next bag. And it is this green one. So yeah, if you've been on my channel before, you probably know that I absolutely love the color green. So when I saw this one, I just fell in love with it right away because it is this small shoulder bag with adjustable handle or strap and this little quote in the front. And it is made of this faux suede type of material. It is soft and it comes in this color green, but you could also get it in a beige, a reddish color and a brown color at least, I think. And this little green shoulder bag was in fact, the second cheapest in this video because I only paid $2.91 for it. So another absolute deal over here. And it has this little shoulder strap, so you can just have it on your shoulder. But this design with these knots on the strap also makes it adjustable. So you can pull this. I have Pull them all together now and then it's this long so you could also make it crossbody like this if you are really tall this might be too short but for me it's perfect and yeah this bag was also super affordable so i didn't have super high expectations for it but it's actually super functional like the way they have considered this adjustable handle for example it's just a nice design that you would not really expect in such an affordable bag 
it looks really nice these straps feel nice they don't feel flimsy they feel really good actually the bag itself the material is soft and nice it's not the thickest but it's not super thin either but then the low price of the bag is reflected on the inside so the inside is lined which is great but there are no inner pockets and also no zipper closure just a button so that's something that it's not the best in the city because yeah we have pickpockets over here but because it is here under your arm i think you can hold on to it quite securely so it's all right and yeah you might have noticed it has this quote in the front onwards and upwards and yeah i can't stand the fact how many timo bags say bags and fashion in the front i think that's just so cringy but a little motivational quote i'm not opposed to it okay team i see you i i kind of like it i think this is super cool looking it again has this kind of retro vintage vibes and i think this one will be really nice to combine with many of my outfits just a little bag for little shopping trip or just your everyday essentials it is not a big size but i think it's actually really handy size and will fit everything that i need and I'm really happy with it for this super low price. This bag obviously can't fit the water bottle like this. Also like this is for point out. But that this type of bag I will not carry my water bottle with me anyway. But it can fit the rest of the essentials. So my phone all fits in here perfectly. So it definitely has enough space for all my daily essentials. And I'm actually super excited about this little affordable bag. And I think it was a total score. All right, we have reached the final bag in this haul. There is only one left inside. And this is the bag that I'm most looking forward to. And this bag was also the most expensive in this haul. And when I say expensive, it was still not expensive. It even comes in its own little dust bag. So that's luxurious for Timo, I guess. All right, are you ready? I think this bag is super nice. Here it is. It is a black bucket bag and when I saw this on Timo, I immediately fell in love with it because I thought it looked so nice. So it is this small size bucket bag with a top handle, a longer strap that is adjustable and another interchangeable strap that is in this woven design with four letter details. And this extra strap comes together with the bag and for this bag I paid $14.62 so still a very affordable price for what looks like a really nice, pretty and well-made bag. So this bag has a lot of nice little features that I like. It is a small bucket bag that has this beautiful strap with stitching on top and the entire bag has this white contrast stitching that I thought was very retro and the hardware on this bag is this beautiful antique gold type of shade of gold that I think looks really nice and kind of expensive to be honest I think this bag looks better than 14 something it looks more expensive than it was and it feels really nice and well made Anyway, I really like the way the top handle has these rings and then at the side there is this adjustable strap also. So it has three different adjustments for this top handle. You could make it longer from the side on both sides. Then it has this longer strap that is attached to the rings on the handle and it is also adjustable. There are one, two, three, four holes to adjust the length of it. And the strap feels very nice. The stitching also looks good. And then it came with this other strap, which I thought was a really nice extra. And the other strap is this beautiful natural beige with black woven design. It has this same black strap detail in the middle where you can also adjust the length of it. 
and then when you attach it onto the bag it is also with the same plug strap material so i think that's a really nice detail for such an affordable bag i think this strap would look really nice in the summer but i think it's definitely a great extra to have two straps to come with the bag and then you can choose which strap you prefer let's see how this strap looks like with this bag so i have attached the other strap on the other side normally you would of course have only one not both of them but here it is i think it goes great with the bag actually i think it looks nice together so yeah, overall, I'm really impressed with the materials of this bag. The bottom of it doesn't have any feet or anything, but that's not necessary for me. Then looking inside. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any pockets, so it might be hard to see. But it is just one compartment, no pockets, nothing like that and a button closure but it's a small bag so it's not really necessary overall i really like this bag i think it looks super cute and more expensive than it is and i think i will use it a lot with different outfits i think it will be really easy to combine and i'm really happy i got it i like it a lot so this was my affordable timu bag haul and let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite my favorite is definitely the black bucket bag. I love it. I think it looks great. And I also love that small crossbody walking bag a lot. I think it will be one of my most used bags in my rotation for sure. So I'm super happy with it. Overall, I can't fault any of these bags. Some of them, are, they were in a lightning deal when I got them, but most of them, they are still selling for these low prices right now that I checked today. So overall, I'm really happy with all of these bags. Some were better than others and some, yeah, you can kind of see how they are low priced because they are not the highest quality there is. But I think overall, they will be totally useful and work well in my everyday life. They don't seem like bags that will just fall apart the first time you wear them. I'm expecting to get good use out of them. They feel sturdy enough to be used. So yeah, let me know down below if you found any cool bags on Timu that you really liked. I have already ordered a few more bags after getting these ones and I will be showing them in a future try on haul video. So yeah, I have an exciting Timu try on haul coming up. So if you would like to see that, please subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this kind of unboxing videos and fun, honest Timu reviews, just subscribe to my channel. It would help me more than you'll ever know. That's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your kind comments down below. I'll talk to you soon again. Take care. Bye.